Welcome to Electron Online. It is no secret that in quantum mechanics, Niels Bohr was a big contributor to our understanding of the basic structure of atoms, especially when we come to the hydrogen atom. And the result of that was that he postulated that electrons resided in energy levels that were quantized. And when electrons jumped from one level to another level, that either, an electro, that either a photon was absorbed or emitted, depending upon if the electron was in a higher or lower energy state. Case in point, let's assume a simple hydrogen atom right here. Here's the proton in the middle, which is the, the, the uh, nuclear center of the atom. And now we have what he assumed to be energy states in which electrons could exist. And so, for example, if an electron were to go from a lower energy state to a higher energy state, it could only do so by absorbing a photon containing that exact difference in energy. Likewise, when, a when an electron was, would jump from a higher energy state to a lower energy state, it would then release the exact energy difference again in the form of a photon. And remember that they had discovered through Planck and Einstein that the energy contained within a single photon, which also was quantized, was equal to the constant h, the Planck's constant, times the frequency of the photon. And again, that energy would be exactly equal to the difference in the energy between the two energy states. Now, that postulation that electrons resided in quantized states and that photons were either being emitted or absorbed during transitions earned him the Nobel Prize back in 1922. He also took another leap of fate, again, not really fate, but again, through careful thinking, he assumed that momentum would also had to be quantized. And so he came up with an equation that indicated that the angular momentum of objects like electrons in orbital situations inside uh, atoms would have an energy number times a constant. The energy number again would be the angular momentum quantum state that it would ex exist in. The constant was therefore ex is assumed to be h divided by 2 pi because you have the angular momentum, the, the circular uh, situation where of course the circumference is equal to uh, r times 2 pi. So they introduced an additional 2 pi in the constant, now known to be h bar. h bar is equal to h divided by 2 pi. And again, h is Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. So this is actually proven out to be now correct, that we do know that angular momentum is indeed quantized in atoms, and it can be determined through multiplying an integer number times that constant, h divided by 2 pi. Again, these discoveries, these postulates, these, all this work that they put into understanding what the structure of atoms were back in those days earned all these individuals, including Niels Bohr, a Nobel Prize back in 1922, again enriching us with the understanding of the basic principles of quantum mechanics.